question this morning. Why is it that we sometimes struggle so much to do that? Why is it that we sometimes just cannot seem to gather the strength or the motivation? Why is it that we sometimes just cannot overcome that one limitation or that one barrier um, to move to where we want to be? And as I walked into the uh, bathroom this morning to brush my teeth and get ready for this morning, I noticed my orchid in the bathroom and it is blooming beautifully. It looks so beautiful. And I looked at it and I thought this morning, you're growing so beautifully here. And I wish I can place you elsewhere in the house because you just, I mean, the bulbs are there and one of them has just really opened up this morning. It's absolutely exquisite. I need to tell you the story of this orchid. So I received it about three or four years ago as a gift. And you know with these beautiful orchids, well for me most certainly, they last, they, they're beautiful, they've got flowers, they last and then when it's the season, when the flowers start falling off, I cannot seem to get them growing again. I just, I just cannot do that. This is most probably the third one. And, um, and then I thought this one, I'm really going to really try and make this one work. <laughs> and I read up about it and it was all over the house in all the different spots that I thought it would now be perfect for it. And so the next season came, no flowers. And um, the next season came and no flowers. And at one point... It was literally dead. It, it looked as if there was nothing left of this orchid. I mean, it didn't, there was the roots and everything, but it didn't look as if it was ever, even the little branches were like dry, 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 dry. And I thought, oh, I really tried. I'm now making a very long story short. And you know, last year I then thought, I'm just going to put it there in the bathroom. There's one corner there. Um, and then just leave it there because I don't, I don't know what to do with this. But I wasn't ready to give up on it yet. And you know, a few months later, I literally saw the little bulbs forming. And I thought, no way! This orchid was dead. I mean, it was dry, dry, dry. I never thought that it would blossom again, but it did, it did. And, and now this year, I haven't seen so many bulbs the previous year. It's just gonna have more flowers this year than what it ever has since I've had it. And the thing is, I know perhaps that spot in the bathroom is the perfect spot for it. It's beautiful and I'm so excited and yet I thought it was dead. I almost gave up on it and I put it in the bathroom. I said, you've got to work with me now. And this morning when I saw it, you know, just thinking you are so beautiful. I wish I can put you elsewhere in the house. But I really want to nurture you and keep this energy and flowers alive. So I'm going to keep you there. And that made me think. Sometimes we think that we have to be in the spotlight where everybody can see us. Sometimes we think that being hidden or not in the perfect place is not good for us. But sometimes we all have our space. And it doesn't matter whether it's the lounge or the dining room or the bathroom. It matters that where you are, you blossom. Where you are, you have your space. And your space is where you grow. 
where you allow yourself the opportunities to to go inward, to introspect, to become quiet, to work in the background at stuff, and you have your time to blossom and to start all these new things and to reach your highest potential, no matter where you are. We always think and we put such expectations on ourselves and such judgment because we think it's got to be like that. It's got to be like that. But you just have to grow and be where you feel is your fertile ground. And that is different for everybody. And even if you feel that you are busy dying, even if you feel that the branches are dry, even if you feel that there's no hope for me, I just cannot see the next step. I just cannot, I just don't have the energy or the confidence. The universe is not giving up on you. And they will keep on watering you and taking care of you and putting you in different spots until you found your perfect spot. And sometimes when we feel moved around by circumstances, by challenges, by situations, we get angry. <laughs> yes, we get angry and we think, don't move me now. Or no, this is my spot. And our beloved universe says, you will grow so much better there. And you go, no, don't move me here. Does this resonate? Allow yourself to be moved around into different experiences, into different spaces, into different changes until you find your spot. And we can see it as like a series of events or life experiences. And we put so much pressure on ourselves to, you know, to make the right decision because that's my spot. And, or, you know, don't change me now because this is my spot. That we're not allowing to be moved around by the universe and you don't know how much you will blossom when you are being moved around until you found your space i cannot tell you how beautiful i'm actually going to put a picture up of this orchid and it almost died and it was dry and it's blossoming so beautifully and it's in the corner in a bathroom where no one sees it. And yes, I want to bring it out so that it can be admired and I can look at it like when I work. But that's not its spot. That's not its spot. And so sometimes where I want to place something or a situation or a person, it's just not their spot. And we can allow the sun to shine on others as well. As you find your spot, let everybody else find their spot. And let's allow the sun to shine on everybody, on our neighbor, on the person who is in business with us, to the person who's doing the same as us. Let the sun shine on everybody. Let's be happy for the growth and the blessings and the abundance that others are experiencing. Let's wish them well. Let's wish them happiness. And allow yourself to be moved until you reach your fertile ground. And as I said, this journey of this orchid is over three or four years you know, that I really thought, no, this is now another orchid that I couldn't, that I didn't manage to keep, to keep alive. <laughs> Some people just have green fingers and I don't. And then when you put it where it's, where you least expected it will be, it's beautiful. Even after reading up, <laughs> even after reading up and finding the knowledge. So, 
I really just wanted to share this message with you so that you can allow yourself to find your spot. And once you find your spot, grow there and be beautiful there. And also know that you will go through different seasons, you know. Sometimes we blossom and all the bulbs open up, yes. And that's a season. And other times, you know, the bulbs just start coming out and they're still closed. And we patiently wait. And other times the flowers fall off and I go into introspection and I'm in the background and my growth is internal. Be patient with yourselves. So today I see that you really love orchids but it never lasted. Well, try this, try this energy and just put it everywhere in the least imaginable space and you will see. And in my own life, I've experienced this. You know that you are never cast aside. You are never left alone. You are never not nurtured, not watered, not moved around by God and the angels. Because all this moving around is taking you to where you need to be.